What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I am doing some mid-month readings, and I'm on the sign of Virgo. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, check out the About section below. For more information, or if you know someone who would like a personal reading, send them my way. Let's see what the message is for the Arthur, the sign of Virgo from right now until the end of June 2019. Well, Virgo, I think that there's going to be a few opportunities for you that are here. Maybe you don't see them because you're. I see a lot of anxiety around a certain situation, maybe something you're unable to make a decision about. You can't really see all of the details at this time, and I think that you're kind of stressing about it. But I think that more things will be revealed to you in the new moon as well. You have the strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo. Or maybe you need to know that you're stronger than you realize. You have the Ten of Pentacles. So I think that you just need to have more confidence in yourself, especially when it comes to a job situation, um, when it comes to your finances. Um, have faith in yourself, have faith in the universe. Um, there's a good um, saying that um, the universe supports me in every way. All that I need will be provided to me in just the right time and way. Um, having more confidence in yourself, putting that out into the universe that... Whatever you're waiting for, I, um, for some of you guys it is a contract and I do see it coming in, but it does have a lot to do with your own thoughts and what you're manifesting in. Um, it will be what you're looking for, um, but at the same time, um, if you guys are going to sign a contract, make sure you look at every detail because there could be some things that need to be removed. Um, you have the Three of Cups and the Temperance card. I do see balance coming into your life. I see stability. I see um, a circle of support for you guys. Maybe it's time to celebrate um, your accomplishments. Um, maybe just knowing that you're supported by the universe and your decisions, the star card. Um, some of you guys, this is coming to you because you have taken the time to kind of heal some things. Um, maybe in a family situation. Um, or maybe there's just some things that you're being guided to that's going to bring you balance. It's going to bring you support. Um, just know that you are supported as well. Three of Pentacles, four of Pentacles. So like I said, this situation with the job where you, maybe you feel like they don't support you enough or that it's not really working out. Um, I feel like there's going to be stability. But you need to be um, more direct with your boss and um, ask in a... What was that card I saw? It was like, ask in a sincere way for what it is that you want in your job. Um, two of Cups. Because there's a partnership here, um, King of Wands, something to do with your boss for some of you guys. Um, some of you guys have feelings for someone and you want to have a new beginning, but you're scared. And I feel like you're going to be coming out of that energy, but there is something that you need to see about the situation. Because I feel like you're going to get some really unexpected news that's going to bring about like a really good ending. Um... But maybe like someone you work with or some like there's a boss of yours that's really hard to communicate with because they're really immature. Um, maybe it's about taking a time out and having a meeting with them to kind of get your differences out there and come into some type of an agreement if it's a work situation so you get everyone can kind of get what they want. But I do see new opportunities coming in for you. Um, you had express your joy and have faith. And I honestly feel like it's more about having faith in yourself than anything else. Having faith that everything that you want and need will be coming into you. Um, that you will be financially stable. But there is communication that's needed in this. And there's a decision that needs to be made. I mean, I feel like maybe if you're waiting for a promotion. If you're waiting for a raise, they haven't really made a decision. But maybe you having this conversation and being proactive. Like this is what you're interested in. You're willing to work with more people. Um, you're willing to support this company maybe that you're working for. Um, go the extra mile and then show them that you're interested so that could get you this contract that you want. Because I do feel like um, for some of you guys, if you're sleeping with someone at your job or you know about this, this person could be fired. <clears throat> I don't know who that's for. Um, but I do feel like things are going to be balanced, especially when it comes to financial um, things around the home. Uh, I do feel like someone needs to have the courage and the confidence in themselves to go to counseling and talk about some things. Um, I thought it's maybe hard for you to talk about, but I think that 
just um, taking that first step and being proactive and, and talking about things or being willing to talk about some things that you've been through <clears throat> starts the healing process and along the way brings in um, more things for you. Um, because I feel like some of you guys could be in a relationship with someone or in a marriage with someone who you believe is your soulmate or this could be past energy, but there does need to be some healing and some balance. You need this person to support you in what you do. This person needs to communicate better. They need to be more open about their feelings. Maybe couples counseling is on the table or it could be because I feel like you have a lot of emotions that you're keeping to yourself about this, but at the same time, um, you're just trying to keep things balanced. You're trying to stay afloat. And I think that when you least expect it, new opportunities are going to be coming in for you. But just make sure that you're paying attention to like everything, like even things that you normally wouldn't have paid attention to before. Because I feel like um, someone is really watching you or someone's really watching a situation, maybe with another person. Like I said, if there's someone out there who is um, in a relationship with their boss, you're being watched. You should know that. Um, and don't let like a one night stand keep you from, you know, your job or a situation. Maybe keeping those boundaries up, you know, um, some of you guys work with someone that you consider a soulmate. Um, you have a lot of feelings for them. This person might be watching you, but at the same time, <clears throat> this person could be going through something like financial struggles and they kind of want what you have. So I would be very mindful of that um, because I think that. This person isn't really sure about what they want. Um, maybe they want to work on this or they want um, you to kind of do everything for them. And that's not really healthy. Um, some of you guys, if there's a, a business that you're starting up or that you've kind of already started and you're wondering if you're going to be successful on your own. And I do feel like you will be. And it's okay to be happy for yourself. It's okay to have more faith in yourself that these things will come in for you. But it's more about having more confidence. Um, you know... I feel like you guys are really hard on yourselves and maybe when you're going through a lot of things it's hard for you or if you've been through a lot of things with people you know and you're healing those wounds it's hard for you to have that confidence in yourself but the more that you do the more um, things are going to be presented to you because you have the confidence um, and you're showing that to the right people you know you have a man holding a coin in reverse some of you guys are definitely dealing with someone who um, is struggling financially walking away in reverse and it could in some of some of you it's like really hard for you to walk away from this person because they need your help you have happy family and victory in reverse appreciation action in reverse strategy anxiety the thinking woman and the thinking man in reverse it's almost like you have to think for them it's almost like you have to handle everything but this person doesn't really appreciate everything that you do for them and I feel like some of you guys have this um, like fantasy or this vision where you guys would be really happy together, but it's just not really working out right now. Maybe it's not really stable. I feel like this anxiety and this um, cloudy judgment might not be your energy. It could be someone else's if you're empathic, so be very mindful of that. that you're not taking on someone else's anxiety and they're not doing anything about it and they're not getting things that going well in their in their in their life so they're kind of taking it out on you but that doesn't mean you can't be happy for yourself I mean this could be a co-worker this could be anyone in your life you know but you don't have to to feel bad about yourself because you um are doing the right things you know what I mean but don't be afraid at the same time to um kind of demand that um respect and that attention from people you know coming up with a plan for when you get triggered or you get anxiety like Thinking things through, making lists, writing things down, what you would like to see in your life, you know, um, what would truly make you happy, what will truly make your family happy. Um, maybe things didn't go that way for you and so you're determined to provide that for your children, but at the same time, like somewhere along the lines, you guys lost your confidence, you know what I mean? And maybe you're not really sure how to balance this out or which way to go with this anymore, um, but there's still a lot of attachments here. And maybe there are unhealthy attachments that this other person has that's causing some hostilities around you. Um, but I feel like it's it's time to kind of come up with a plan. Because um, one of it, someone involved in this situation isn't able to think clearly and maybe it's affecting your life right now. Um, and you care about them, but it's throwing your balance off. It's throwing your confidence off. And you want to be supportive and you want to help them, but... Are 
are we enabling or are we helping? You know what I mean? Sometimes our feelings get in the way of things and it's important we to take care of ourselves at the same time. Some of you guys have money news coming in with the Four of Swords. This is something where maybe you took a break from something. Maybe you weren't really sure what decision to make. Um, because you guys did take a loss and so now you weren't really sure. But it says intentional action is needed, especially when it comes to um, anything where when something is offered to you, you know, you need to be very clear about what it is that you want and what it is that you kind of, I don't want to say expect, but to some extent, um, what you, you know, we want things to be even, you know, you want things to be fair. And, um, if you're getting money, then this person needs to kind of do what you're doing for them. You know what I mean? Um, the other one is the Queen of Cups, and it says, be supportive. They need your help. And I feel like that's okay to a certain extent. It's okay to um, tell someone that you're there for them, but be very careful because some of you guys are dealing with an emotional manipulator, and they know how to mess with your emotions. And it could have caused some depression and things for some of you guys. And it's kind of like, could be, could affect you know, if you're giving too much to someone, it could affect your own um, financial situation. You know what I mean? I feel like you can be supportive for people, but in a different way, you know, um, and that there is some action that needs to be taken so that more money can come into your life or that you can have this contract or this um, raise or whatever the case may be. So balance and stuff can be restored in your life. It's just having more confidence in yourself. You have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And you have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. For me personally, it's hard to talk to my parents. I don't really talk to them. And I think that maybe this is where that comes in. Where you have faith and you kind of celebrate your success and you're proud of yourself, but maybe if you can't have this conversation, it's maybe writing them a letter, you know, telling them that you forgive them so that you can have this balance into your life because sometimes we forget what um, childhood trauma does to us, whether or not it's intentional from our parents or if it's just something that we don't know how to heal and let go of. Um, some of you guys, it's okay for you to express how you feel to these people, but maybe if you don't feel comfortable with doing that, maybe it's just writing it down in a letter, you know, and burning it, or just getting those emotions out, like anything that you'd want to say to them, so then you're kind of heal starting that healing process within yourself. And this might even be the person that you're dealing with that needs to do this as well. Um, you have, this could be the one in reverse. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, and then you have playfulness. Um, some of you guys thought you were dealing with someone who you would be with the rest of your life or you still do and I feel like this person kind of plays on that but at the same time I don't think it's it's not super negative energy but there is some negative energy where I don't think it's a serious relationship but this is someone who you could have some fun with basically it's not the one you're meant to be with the rest of your life but you could still kind of enjoy the moment right now kind of thing is the energy that I'm getting out of it but yes, have more confidence in yourself that you're going to have this Ten of Pentacles, even if it's on your own, you know, Mama Bear, or just make that decision for your life, especially in the full moon, put it, setting your intentions. Um, I like to write them down, you know, and some people burn them, some people do other things with them, but making that decision and, and setting those intentions with the universe is really important and having faith and, you know, doing what it is that makes you happy for you and no one else. And I feel like I say that a lot to you guys. Anyways, that's all I have for you. Have a good month.